Kansetsuwaza involve using your hands, arms or legs to twist, stretch or bend your opponent's joints. In competition, you may only apply Kansetsuwaza to your opponent's elbow joints. Ude Garami is a technique in which you use your arms to twist your opponent's arm backwards in either direction at the elbow. When your opponent thrusts his arm out, grab his wrist and twist his arm backwards. His upper arm should be at a right angle with his body and his forearm should also be bent 90 degrees. This is an example of how to twist your opponent's forearm inside. The elbow should be bent to form a right angle. This shows how to apply an arm lock by stretching his elbow. Enter into a tate shihogatame and apply an arm lock by stretching his elbow. Place your left arm underneath your opponent's elbow using it as a fulcrum to stretch his elbow. This is how to lock your opponent's arm when he attempts to hold you down. One way of doing this is to take his forearm and twist it behind his back. The other way is to take his forearm from below and push it up over his shoulder. Use your right leg to stop your opponent from rolling over and escaping. This shows how to control your opponent's forearm by stretching the elbow. This is an arm lock applied by bending the elbow. Here's how to apply Ude Garami from a standing position. Just before grappling with your opponent, take his arm and bend it backwards as you force him down. If your opponent raises his arm, take the opportunity of this to force it up and lock his elbow joint, throwing him down as in Osoto Otoshi. Let's watch Hideyuki Sekine apply Ude Garami. His opponent has managed to lock his legs around Sekine's. To avoid this attempt at Osai Komi, Sekine slips his left wrist under his opponent's elbow and uses it as a fulcrum to stretch his elbow and apply Ude Garami. Ude Hishigi Juji Gatame is an elbow lock achieved by taking your opponent's wrist and trapping his forearm between your thighs to stretch it back. Bend one knee and place it over your opponent's neck to restrain him. Place the tip of the other leg against his back near his armpit and press with your hips as you stretch his arm. Stretch his arm fully so that he can't bend or stretch his elbow and tighten your knees to trap the arm between your thighs. The lock will be easier to apply if you take your opponent's wrist so that the thumb is turned upwards. This shows how to restrain his neck. 
And now going on from a Yoko Shihogatame. After taking his arm with both hands, you may need to let go of one hand so that you can control his legs, depending on his movements. This shows how to apply the lock on your opponent as he attempts to rise. Stretch your hips to prevent him from getting up and apply the lock. Here's what to do if your opponent attempts to lift you up. Take advantage of his action to stop him from standing and use your left leg to force him down so that you can apply the lock. This is how to apply the lock when your opponent is kneeling between your legs. The thing to remember here is to place one leg on the mat and turn your body around so that it forms a cross with your opponent's. And this is what to do when your opponent attempts a seoinage from a low position. Step over whichever arm your opponent uses to pull you and stretch it to apply the lock. This is how to attack an opponent who's on all fours. The main points are to lock your legs around your opponent's neck and grab hold of the tip of his foot so that you can throw him on his back. This is a match from the 1981 World Championships in the Netherlands. The final in the 78 kilogram division is between Adams of Britain and Japan's Kase. Let's watch Adams go from a Seonage to a Juji Gatame, a technique he excels in. He attempts to apply the lock by turning Kase on his back. Failing, he makes Kase roll forward and succeeds in applying Juji Gatame. This shows that you have to react according to your opponent's movements. Los Angeles Olympic champion Matsuoka applies a Seoinage followed by a Juji Katame. Although his seoinage was successful, he went on to apply a katame waza, showing his remarkable spirit. The 1991 world champion Tadanori Koshino performs a tomoenage followed by an ude hishigi jujigatame. This is a good example of how a katame waza is used to deal the final blow. Here's Koshino again, attacking his opponent with a combination of Osai Komi and Juji Gatame. From the 1991 World Championships, here's the final match in the 95 kilogram and over category. Kozorotov of Russia demonstrates a well executed Ude Hishigi Juji Katame.
in ude hishigi ude gatame, you pull your opponent's wrist and lodge it between your neck and shoulder so that the arm is stretched and twisted, and then press down with both hands on the elbow. This is how to apply the technique when your opponent attacks from the feet. Use your legs to defend yourself and apply pressure on his elbow. You can also assume a more aggressive approach, using your elbows to restrain his arm. Let's take a closer look. Wrap your arms around your opponent's arm and trap it between your neck and shoulder. You can also apply the lock by twisting his elbow and pressing it against your chest. This shows how to restrain your opponent's surite or lifting arm just before grappling. When your opponent attempts to grab the back of your collar, seize the moment to trap his arm between your neck and shoulder. In order to restrain your opponent's hikite or pulling arm, wrap your arms around his upper arm and press down. Let's take a closer look at that action. Here's how to apply the lock from a yoko shiho gatame. The point is to place your entire weight on your opponent's arm. Let's watch Naoya Ogawa apply an ude gatame. Failing to execute a kesagatame, he modified the hold to an udegatame. Ude hishigi hisagatame is an arm lock applied by trapping the wrist in your armpit or holding it with one hand, pressing down on the elbow with your knee to twist and stretch the arm. Besides using your knee, you must also press the tip of your foot against your opponent's hips and control him with your lower body. The tip of your foot should be on his belt. This is a close-up of the arm lock. This is how to apply the arm lock from a Hong Kesa Gatame. Place the arm you're holding across your inner thigh and use the knee of the other leg to apply pressure on the elbow. When your opponent attacks you from the feet, pull him down and apply the arm lock. The method is the same as in Suriyage, a technique in Kimi no Kata. The main feature of this technique is that you rest your entire weight on your opponent's elbow. When your opponent attempts to raise your legs, utilize his force to apply the arm lock. To do this, grab his wrist to prevent him from getting away and hook your foot under his knee, using your leg as a lever to apply pressure on his arm. In this variation, you apply leverage on your opponent's arm to bend it backwards, using his elbow as the fulcrum. Twist your body to the side as you apply pressure to his elbow with your leg. Let's take another look at this. You can also sit up and apply pressure to the elbow with your knee. Sit up and control your opponent's wrist using your weight to bear down on his arm.
To perform ude hishigi waki gatame, use both hands to get a grip on one of your opponent's wrists from the side and trap his arm in your armpit. Stretch the arm out while twisting it backwards at the elbow. This is how to apply the technique from a standing position. Speed is important. Apply the lock as soon as you get a hold on his wrist. It is a penalty to throw yourself on the mat. Here's how to apply the lock from a kuzure kami shihogatame. Grab your opponent's arm, taking advantage of his attempt to escape, and apply pressure with your entire weight. This is how to execute the lock from a kuzure kami shihogatame, combining the arm lock with a stranglehold. After trapping his arm in your armpit, wrap your leg around his waist to restrain him. The final match in the 1985 World Championships in Seoul for the 95 kg and over division. Hitoshi Saito of Japan meets South Korea's Cho Yong Chul. Soon after the start of the match, Cho applies a wacky gatame, which causes Saito to dislocate his left elbow, forcing him to withdraw. The referees had to consult as to whether Cho's action was against the rules. Saito applies an uchimata to break his opponent's balance. He then immediately continues his attack by applying a kansetsu waza to his opponent's right arm. And now for a look at an ude hishigi waki gatame that will be given a penalty. If you throw yourself down on the floor from a standing position while applying a technique such as ude hishigi waki gatame, you will lose by a penalty. In ude hishigi haragatame, you grip one of your opponent's wrists from the side using either hand and use your stomach to apply pressure to his elbow. Lock the elbow by straightening, twisting, or bending the arm. To apply the lock in the manner of kime no kata, stretch his arm out and lock the elbow as soon as you get a grip on his wrist. To apply the lock from a kuzure kesagatame, stretch your opponent's arm and bear down with your stomach. This shows how to lock the elbow by bending the arm and pressing down with your stomach. Let's take another look at this. This is a haragatame applied from a yoko shihogatame. Twist your opponent's left arm and pull it forward. Apply pressure to the shoulder and elbow with your stomach. This technique can be applied to your opponent when he's face down. Catch his forearm with one leg and straighten out or twist the arm to lock the elbow. The right leg is used in this demonstration. And now the left leg. Catch his forearm in a quick movement and control his arm. Applying a stranglehold while doing so will help make the lock even more effective. From a kuzure kesagatame, you can also lock the elbow by catching his arm in between your thighs. The moment you see him stretching his arm, seize the opportunity to trap it between your thighs. Ashigatame is one of Hitoshi Saito's favorite techniques. 
Here, he secures his opponent's wrist with his right leg and applies pressure on the elbow with his left leg. The World Championships in Seoul, Saito against Cohen of the United States. He secures his opponent's elbow with his left leg and raises his right to lock the elbow. Saito faces Kotsman of Czechoslovakia. He enters into Ashigatame with his right leg. As Kotsman attempts to free his arm, Saito uses his left leg to fortify his hold and lock the elbow. To apply Ude Hishigi Tegatame from a standing position, slip your left hand through his right armpit and grasp his left collar. Take hold of his wrist with your right hand and flip him over, twisting his arm behind his back to lock the elbow. Grasping his wrist, throw yourself down so that your opponent is forced to roll over. When your opponent is lying on his back, grab both legs and bring them over his head to restrain him. Grab his right arm with your right hand and apply pressure to the arm with your right knee. Shift your weight to lock the elbow. You can also apply the lock from a yoko shiho gatame by grabbing one of your opponent's wrists to twist the arm. Make sure to stop him from lying flat on his face by trapping his body between your legs so that you can keep him under control. Another way to apply te gatame to an opponent who's on his back is to attack from the legs. Remember to restrain his legs as fast as you can, then grab the wrist and use your body weight to bear down and lock the elbow. Wrap one leg over your opponent's shoulder and the other under the opposite armpit to trap his arm, as in Sankaku Gatame. This can be done from the front, the side or the rear. Straighten out or twist his arm to lock his elbow. Take advantage of your opponent's efforts to draw you up to wrap your legs around him in the Sankaku Gatame style. Straddle your opponent who is on all fours and wrap your legs around him in the Sankaku Gatame style. Throw yourself forward, forcing him to roll over and stretch his arm to lock the elbow. This is how to apply the lock from a Yoko Sankaku Jime. After trapping your opponent's arm with a Yoko Sankaku Jime, you can also lock the elbow of the other arm in this manner.
After trapping your opponent's right arm with a yoko san kakujime, you can apply the lock by bending the arm backwards. Bend the arm back so that the elbow forms a right angle. Ashigarami is a dangerous technique and is not allowed in randori or in competition. Force your opponent's legs apart with one leg and hook your other leg around one of them from behind to lock the knee. This video was produced to give you an understanding of the basic techniques and variations which make up the Katame Waza of Kodokan Judo. Consisting of holding, neck lock and arm lock techniques, Katame Waza are neither as flashy nor as brilliant as the Nage Waza. Properly executed, however, they will allow you to defeat your opponent instantaneously. Katame waza and nage waza are equally important and practicing both will help improve your judo.